Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. If you're here, you probably have a good idea of what this video is going to be about from the title and from the thumbnail and from this. I know a lot of people have, a lot of people in the fountain pen community this month have been doing their ink rainbow tag, ink rainbow challenge that Ginger Peachy Pins started. So I thought I'd do it as well. I uh, love Pride Month. Uh, so I have got some picks here, some uh, some ink and pen picks, and I just want to say, I know that other people in the fountain pen community may have uh, more options than I had, <laughs> so I hope you'll bear with me. I kind of had to just use what I had, <laughs> but I still think I managed to make a cohesive rainbow nonetheless. <laughs> Uh, so I just kind of used what I had. Maybe next year it'll be even better, but, uh, I wanted to just use what I had. So what I've done, I tried to do something kind of fun. I did like this little rainbow and I've done kind of like a diagram and I have already colored my rainbow in with the ink choices that I picked. And I was thinking that we would go through the colors of the rainbow one by one and I would explain my choices and everything. So um, I'm going to start of course with red in the rainbow. I only had one red ink in my collection and I only had one red fountain pen in my collection. I tried to do matchy matchy. Uh, it worked out with some colors better than others. But so for the first uh, pen that I went with I have chosen this red sailor just kidding <laughs> this is a Jin Hao 82 or a poor man's sailor uh, this is the only red pen I own but it's very stylish you know you can't beat it in terms of style it's pretty um, so I chose this one also, don't mind my little bandaged thumbs. I've been biting my nails too much, and I put the little band-aids on there to try to deter my little nibbling teeth. So, just to, just pretend there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, so, um, this is the only red pen that I have uh, in my collection at the moment. And the ink that I chose was also the only red ink that I have in my collection. And I will pull out the little swatch card from my coloring. It's J. Urban, uh, I believe the French pronunciation would be something to the tune of Rouge Caribier. Uh, it's a red. And I have to say, in this particular pen, it does feel a little dry. Also, sorry if my chair is really squeaky. I'm supposed to be getting a new chair here in a few months when I eventually have the budget to get an upgrade. Okay, so for the red, the pen, this is the Jinhao 82. And this ink is J. Urban. Rouge Caribbean. It comes across quite dry in this pen. It's real dry. Uh, and the color doesn't feel very saturated. So I will have to try this ink in a different pen and see if I like it more. Or maybe get a couple more red ink samples to try. Um... But this is what the bottle looks like. It's the only red in my collection, so we just kind of had to use what we had, right? <clears throat> so moving on to the orange in my little rainbow here. I, I did have two different oranges to choose from. One of them is this little ink sample that I've been holding on to for ages. This is a color that I don't think is available anywhere anymore. It's from IWI Colors of Nature Spring Equinox. I got this on Van Ness's website several months ago and I've kind of just 
not even hardly used it because you can't get it. I don't think you can get the bottle anymore. I think that it's like discontinued and it's just, it's barely saturated. It really, really is not saturated. You can barely see it. So I went with a different option. The pen is another Jinhao 82. It's the only orange one I had. And the ink that I chose is Colorverse Space Needle. So I will go ahead and write that. And this also feels kind of dry in this pen as well. But I promise the rest of these pen and ink combinations are not so dry. So we got the dry ones out of the way first. So for pen, this is... Jin Hao 82. I mean, it's just so dry and so faint. It doesn't even want to hardly show up. And the ink, this is Colorverse Space Needle. Okay, now moving on to yellow, yellow in our rainbow, I did the best I could to try to do a color match. I do not have any straight up yellow inks in my collection. The closest that I could get was this sample that I have from Wearing Ghoul. It's a, a star spattered hill. I have this sample. This is basically just a like a golden ink. I mean, you put this in the right pen and it feels like you're writing with liquid gold. It's beautiful. Um, it really is. Um, when I first tried it, I put it into a Jinhao 82, but it felt too dry. Um, like, just a touch too dry. It wasn't anything like this, these two. Because these two are like thirsty. I, they could probably use a little bit of white lightning, if I'm honest. Um, but I've put it in a Jinhao 100, and it really writes so nice in this. And the reason that I chose this pen is because I do not have a gold or yellow fountain pen. Um, but I do have this, and it has little bits of yellow in the resin. <laughs> And it has gold hardware. So it was kind of the best match I could muster. <laughs> like I said, I was just sort of using what I had with this with this tag. Um, but it all worked out. It all came out in the wash, as they say, because this combo is really lovely to write with. It does really well in this pen. I think that it's because this nib is a little bit bigger. This Jinhao 100, it uses like a number six nib, whereas the 82s here with these two, I think that it's a number five nib. I don't know, maybe the size of the nib helps with the wetness. So this is the Jinhao 100, and the ink is Wearing Ghoul. I'm just going to write Star Spattered. The full name is a Star Spattered Hill, but I don't know if we're going to fit that onto this page. Yeah, we ran out of room. So, it's really pretty. Um, it's still wet, and it's, I mean, it really does have this kind of sparkle. It's, it's a lovely ink. And let me go ahead and show you the swatch card that I've got. I've got it on my little, uh coloring card here. It's beautiful. Um, I'm going to try to move this around so that the light will hit it nice. It has such a gorgeous sparkle. I mean, it's just very fun. I love this. It feels, um, it, it reminds me of like just pure sunlight. It just kind of really warms me when I write with this ink. It feels like a warm hug in a bottle. <laughs> So needless to say, this is one ink that I have a sample of that I fully intend on buying the full bottle when I can. Because uh, I really, really have enjoyed it. I've been loving it. 
Okay, so next we're moving on to green, and I gotta make sure I'm doing this right because, as you can see on the page, I'm a I'm a left to right girly, but for some reason when I was doing this diagram, I decided to go right to left on the bottom. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. So we're doing green next, and I've got this little diagram arrow pointing down here. For green, I had a few choices. I had a couple of greens, but I wanted to try to do something that f was cohesive with this color scheme. Because I do have a couple of darker greens. Um, let me see if I can show you on my swatch card here. Like, I do have Sailor Ink Studio 280. This is kind of like a brown green, like a hazel eye green. I have Diamond Marine, which is more of a teal, really, than a green at all. I do have J. Urban Vert Reseda, which is more blue-green. And then I have some darker greens. Let me flip back this way. I've got Goose Poupon, which is kind of... It's really a nice color, honestly, it is. But it felt a little too autumn, autumnal, if you will. And I was going more for, like, bright summary uh i think yeah i've also got like moss moss park green excuse me and i think i have yeah vert empire which i, I do really like the, that color but i wanted to try and do something that felt cohesive with this color scheme and more of like a cheery summery green so what i chose was diamond meadow i think this um, this, this achieves that, uh, that bright, summery, cheerful green. Um, and the pen that I have put it in, uh, I didn't have an exact color match. I, the only, uh, green fountain pen in my collection that I could find was this very, very pastel kind of color. Uh, this is a Lamy Safari. And this... It feels really good. If it, it behaves super well in this pen, I don't have any issues. It feels it flows really really great. So this pen is Lamy Safari. Real nice and juicy. Which is what you want. And then the ink is Diamond Meadow. Yeah, I think that combo worked out nicely. Okay, so next we have the blue. And I, I went back and forth on what blue to put in this in this rainbow. Um, I was very, very close to using Colorverse Cat because this is just such a phenomenal ink. It's beautiful. I mean, I'm sure you can see that sparkle right now. It is so pretty. The only reason I didn't is because I I felt like it was just a little bit too dark for this rainbow. And also because when I put it side by side with this purple or lilac, it makes the lilac just look blue. And then it didn't it didn't look like a rainbow anymore. So I tried the this blue here that I've got on the page and I felt like it looked like a rainbow still. So I went with Diablo Mint from J. R. Bond. This I feel is a very cheery, uplifting blue. And the pen that I put it in is a Jinhao 82. This, it's not a perfect color match. Um, it's a little more on like the green side. It's pretty close. Um, I feel like this color of this pen almost leans like a slightly touch green. But it's close enough. So this pen is Jinhao 82. Also, this combination is nice and juicy as well. It doesn't feel dry. And the ink is J. Urban. 
Diablo Mint. And I know that this this ink is really light. I mean, honestly, this one is too, more so just because of the dryness. I know this ink is really light, and to some people this might not be very legible. But I wanted this to be fun more than practical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, let's be real, we are inking up a rainbow of fountain pens. The practical... The practicality aspect has gone out the window. We're supposed to be having fun with this, right? Okay, so now we have come to the last color on the rainbow that I did. I know some people did seven colors, like a full Roy G. Biv type of situation. I didn't have quite enough to really get there since I, ha I do have a smaller collection. Um, so I just chose six colors and the one that I went with for purple was kind of like a, a, a bluey purple, a blurple if you will and I chose Sailor Monyo Neko Yanagi. Love this ink. It is dry. It is dry. I find that in order to get a really nice flow you have to use white lightning um, but I, I do have it in a Twisby, uh, Twisby Eco right now and with like the tiniest, tiniest little dab, it's very flowy now, and I love the flow. And I have had this ink in here for like three months, and I just don't take it out. I've been using it and using it and using it. Um, I, it's really just a a champion to me right now. It's such a beautiful color. I just really enjoy it. So this is the Twiz, the pen is the Twisby Eco. Oh, that's so nice and flowy. And this ink is Sailor Monyo Neko Yanagi. Okay, that is my little ink rainbow. Let's bring out all these pins here so we can have a nice little overview of our little ink rainbow here. We're just going to pretend that that one's yellow. <laughs> There we go. That is my little June Pride Month ink rainbow. This was really fun. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what uh, pens and inks you're really enjoying this month. Let me know which inks out of these you enjoyed the most. Um, and if you have any questions, I will see y'all down in the comments. And I hope y'all are having a great month and staying safe. Bye.